I signed up for this trip because I wanted to have an experience that doesn't come about like very often in your life. Like this is a kind of a once in a lifetime thing and it's just something that is just gonna really give us a lot of experience and help us later on in our lives. My thoughts are it's exciting, but at the same time very nerve wracking because I've never been this gone for a long distance away from my family for a whole month. Cam's international staff are lovely. They're really sort of, um, they're friendly really down to earth because obviously you're going to be with them. You have to be friendly and able to talk to because if there's a problem you can't sort of shy away I suppose. And the <laughs> locals are awesome. The people are really friendly. It's like you walk along the streets and people would smile at you, you know, and you don't get that back in Britain. The weather and the climate can change at the click of the fingers. One minute it's sunny and warm and the next minute it's warm and very wet due to the rain. But I'm fine coping with it. Well, it's very good living in a large group because you get to make new friends, meet new people that you wouldn't really meet at school because of different year groups. At some points you do start to get slightly homesick, or I have. But um, no, I'm really embracing it actually. I'm quite, I'm enjoying like being away from home. Borneo is just turning out to be a really surprising and just great and interesting place to be in. I can say that Kampong Bongkut is a place uh, where you can really live here safely and uh, a very peaceful area. Well, today the guys have just started their permaculture uh, project of their um, stay at Bongkut. Today what they're doing is they're erecting a structure that's going to house similar to a greenhouse um, but just using wood to make a cool area away from sunlight so that they, the locals can grow herbs and spices which they're able to use in their local kitchens. Our team in particular have had some great relationships built with the locals, um, both young and old as you said, and um, they can really see that they're making a difference to this community and bringing them together. We're currently in Bonkard um, and the project work that we're involved in at the moment is uh, we're digging out room for a watering hole which is just down there. Um, and we're clearing the space currently to provide the 30% of people around here that don't have water with water. Uh, the work we just did with the kids, we were basically getting them in a few groups and there were uh, groups of four, there's quite a lot of them, but we were just teaching them some English like through different activities and hopefully they would learn some more, but basically that's all we were trying to do, just teach them a bit of English and get them comfortable with us. The experience was difficult, but like everything out here, extremely rewarding. It's, you can see that they, they want to learn. Everything they're doing, they're just eyes on, 
okay, how do I do this? I really want to learn. And it's, it's just great fun. I'll, I'll probably definitely remember this moment for the rest of my life because, as I said, it was really difficult, but at, in the end, the outcome was really rewarding and it's just, it was just great to see them walking off smiling and know they've enjoyed something and we've given something back to the community that's given us so much so far. So, yeah, it was, it's a really good experience and I won't forget it. My first impressions of the jungle were that it was very humid in there. Like I, I, we were expecting that, obviously we were told a lot about it, but that didn't really make up for the actual experience of it. Like we got there and it was like a blast of heat. And even though we didn't have the glare of the sun, the, the humidity was enough to kind of sap our energy and stuff. So it was really quite strange for a first experience. Well, the accommodation was a bit of a surprise, actually. Um, we were told we'd be sleeping in hammocks, but um, when we were actually going to put it up ourselves, that was quite a new experience. It was quite strange. Like It was quite fun, really, just putting up the, putting up the hammock and then sitting about in it and just messing around. And um, I think everyone was a bit shocked by the simplicity of the toilet and, again, of the showers, but it's just something we'll have to get used to, and I think we'll be fine by the end of it. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a good accommodation. Local wildlife, actually, we have a lot of... Wildlife is surrounding this area actually, as you know, is Kinabatangan. It's, it's very uh, famous in terms of to see the wildlife. Then in Batuputu, surrounding our village, actually, for example, we got more than 200 species of the birds, and we got nine species of the hornbill in this area, ten species of primates. Yeah, in this area, you can see orangutan, burning gibbon, provost monkey, uh, you know, long tail macaque. Today we're at Sepalot Orangutan Sanctuary. I've seen about five orangutan, uh, three babies and two adolescents. Uh, they've been feeding and just swinging around having fun. We've been going around looking at the orangutan during feeding time and just basically learning from the people that work here why they're endangered and why they're trying to help preserve the species. The current issue for forest surrounding our village here is overlogged in the past and also the forest also is uh, burned down by the fire in 1998. Uh, apart from that also is uh, the huge conversion land to the palm oil. Most of the students that come here, especially Cambodia, so they doing a lot of activity, especially contribute to the our uh, restoration work here. For example, like a tree planting project. Most of the people here, uh, they appreciate actually what is people, uh, I mean, the group when they're coming in Batuputi. Because, uh, like I said earlier, it's, it's very important for us actually. Uh, people coming here is not, not just, uh, you know, uh, can contribute for the nature, but also can generate income for the local people. Today we're in Batupute where we're doing some nice seed planting for the trees in the rainforest. Here they kind of plant the seeds 
that which go into the rainforest. The work that we've done here has been, you know, really quite amazing because you can really feel the benefit that you're making on, you know, the community and the environment, and also seeing all the animals who are in the rainforest. Um, you can see directly the effect that it might have. So yesterday we saw a orangutan in a tree, so it's an amazing experience. Uh, even a little contribution can go a long way and that's what we've done, we've, in our own little way we've helped out for the future and if places like this continue to carry on the work that we've done will also help to aid it so if everyone does a bit like their little bit of work then it's going to make a big difference in the future.